Hi there, you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. If you ran out of cat food, what would you feed your cat? Hmm. Well, Bear says cats are picky eaters, and he knows one who decided to be very bad when she did not get what she wanted. Here's that kitty now. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see what bad kitty does. Bad kitty by Nick Bruel. She wasn't always a bad kitty. She used to be a good kitty until one day. Oh dear, we're all out of food for the kitty. All we have are some healthy and delicious asparagus, beets, cauliflower, dill, eggplants, fennel, garlic, horseradish, iceberg lettuce, jalapenos, kidney beans, leeks, mushrooms, navy beans, onions, parsnips, squashes, radishes, spinach, tomatoes, rhubarb, vegetable stew, watercress, zigwa, yams, and zucchini. Kitty was not happy. Not happy at all. That's when she decided she would be a bad kitty. But not just any bad kitty, a very, very bad, bad, bad kitty. She ate my homework, bit grandma, clawed the curtains, damaged the dishes, endangered the goldfish, flooded the bathroom, grappled with guests, hurled hairballs at our heads, irritated the baby, jumped on the bed, knocked over the lamp, loitered, was mean to my mommy, was nasty to daddy's neckties, overturned her cat box, plotted against us, quarreled with the neighbor, ruined the rug, sold my toys, tormented a little mouse, untied my shoes, was violent with the vet, wrote on the walls, examined my diary, yowled all night and zeroed the zinnias. What a bad kitty. What a very, very bad, bad, bad kitty. But then, I'm back from the grocery store. Look at all the good food I bought for kitty. We have an assortment of anchovies, buffalo burritos, chicken cheesecake, a donkey named Dave, 
elephant eggs fried flies goose goulash hippo hamburgers insect ice cream jellyfish jelly kangaroo kidney pie lizard lasagna moose a la mode nightingale nuggets an order of opossum penguin pizza quail quiche rhino ravioli shark sushi turtle turnovers uncle murray a variety of vultures whale waffles an excess of Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yak yogurt and baked zebra zitty. Now Kitty was happy and very, very happy. She decided that from now on she would be a good kitty. But not just any good kitty. A very, very good, good, good kitty. She apologized to Grandma, bought me new toys, cleaned her cat box, drove me to school, erased the wall, finished my homework, gave to UNICEF, hugged the little mouse, invited affection, joined the jamboree, kissed the goldfish, left the lamp alone, mopped the bathroom, was nice to my mommy, sang opera all night, was polite to the vet, quit quarreling with our neighbor, repaired the curtains, saved the day, tied my shoes, didn't eat Uncle Murray, vacuumed the floor, washed the car, filed our taxes, gave me a yellow yo-yo, and lulled the baby to sleep. What a good kitty. What a very, very good, good, good kitty. How can we reward such a good kitty? I know. Look, kitty. We've brought you a new friend. You can play together. And you can go to the park together. And you can share your food with him. Uh-oh. Bear's wondering, do you think she'll be good kitty or bad kitty now? Hmm, will she share and play with the dog? Well, Bear is worried, but he says there's always hope. He also hopes you come back soon for more adventures with pets. Bye for now. Please subscribe.